That's the ability to reframe experiences and bring new meaning. So reframing, I always saw the loss in my life. I lost my birth family. I lost my foster family. Then I was adopted and I had multiple visits with other families that didn't want me. Well, I started to look at what I had gained. I looked at, wait a second, how can I reframe and see this differently for myself? I had so much love. I had so much care. I had so much guidance. So helping children reframe the experience from a loss to a gain, so important. What happened because I did not have the piece of someone helping me process mentally and psychologically what was happening, I repressed my feelings. And in psychology, there's a phrase, what gets repressed must be expressed at some point. You cannot keep stuffing and stuffing and stuffing it inside because then it becomes dormant and it must come out. So externalizing pain is a very important piece for children and that's why I've created many interventions for my clinical practice that allow children to let go, release, have a cathartic experience and externalize these different parts of them. And if you would like some interventions, you can go to my YouTube channel, Yoff Therapy, and there's instructional DIY videos for you to do right here and now. So all behavior is a form of communication with children. And children don't have the coping skills that we have as adults. And a lot of the time we project adult characteristics on children and expect them to know how to say their feelings, know how to express their feelings, know how to work through their feelings. And they don't have the skills. So when they're communicating big feelings, and there's a phrase, when it's hysterical, there, that must mean there's something historical that is contributing and driving this behavior. So just have that context. If you see a lot of big feelings right now, what's hysterical, we must assume is historical. And the child is behaving in this way to communicate an unmet need. A child who's experienced trauma, multiple transitions, separations, abuse, neglect, let me tell you, our self-esteem gets knocked and you cannot tell us enough that we're good enough. You are not going to create a narcissist. We need to hear it over and over and over. We're valued, we're worthy, we're important. We matter, what we do matters. Very important for us to hear because it goes in one ear and then it goes out a little shoot and it doesn't stick. But the way we receive information is through repetition and we need to hear it over and over and over and over and over until that one day it sticks.